on the first sexy danger. First sexy danger hour. Hello and welcome to the Fast Sexy Day Draw. I'm your host, Stuart Cairns. Obviously today's top story, the sordid affair between Gordon Brown, this nation's Prime Minister, and Timmy Mallet, loved TV children's performer. Obviously, you know, we, we Mallet went public with the affair after Gordon Brown refused to legalise using rubber mallets as a form of euthanasia. Obviously, we don't know much details about this, but Timmy Mallet's been quoted as saying, what better way to go than at the hands of a giant foam mallet? Gordon Brown couldn't be reached for comment, obviously, but Gordon Beige has been quoted as saying, what the fuck? Moving on. Tennis superstar Tim Herman has turned his attention to crocodile hunting following his recent retirement from the sport of tennis. Tim Herman, it's thought, said, there's nothing more thrilling than the prospect of hunting and catching crocodiles and random snakes. Whilst Hemmons yet to experience any success of the crocodile hunting aspects of his job, it's believed he managed to corner actor Kevin Spacey in a shrubbery bush. He was close to catching the confused actor when, sadly, Mr. Spacey managed to escape on the wings of a dove. In a lighter note, 74 people were killed today after Kenny Rogers caught reflection of himself in a mirror and went on a murderous rampage. It's thought Mr. Rogers' various aides and PAs had managed to tape images of the actor Terrence Stamp over all the mirrors in the house to avoid this kind of thing from happening. Obviously, they missed a mirror or, or Kenny Rogers caught a reflection of himself at a local KFC. Whatever happened, <laughs> Kenny Rogers, you piss flop. That's all we have time for today on the uh, Fast Sexy Danger app. Three minutes. Join us next week when our guest will be the Pope who's here to talk about his latest album, Slap My Nuns Up. Thank you and good night. Bum, 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 bum,